Hey guys, it's RC Crawler 67 on YouTube. Um wanted to do a video on my Truggy. You've all seen it in my videos, of course. It's a pretty beasty thing. It's got so I I'll just start with basics. It's got a Yoda front cab, of course. All custom tube work and the chassis is all made by Matt Zilla on the RC Crawler forum. Go check out that forum. It's, it's got a lot of good people on it. If you need help, someone will know what is wrong. It's got RC four-wheel drive dual rate shocks on it. 2.2 RC four-wheel drive rock locks. 2.2 RC4, no, Vanquish rims. It's got a three racing winch up front. It's got a HS5955 titanium gear servo. I believe that's what it is. Um, on the bottom, it's got axial three upper three link. Axial. It's got custom links on the bottom here. Okay, let's go to electronics. Oh, well, when I got it, it had these SCX-10 axles on it and with Intergy into spacers on it. I didn't like them. So I'm going to use that axle in my CC-01. I'm converting to a front solid axle. I put wraith axles on this because they're just a tad wider, but they will hold up a lot better. Um, it's got a Airtronics MT4 digital high response telemetry system. It's pretty good radio. I would definitely recommend it to people if they know how to program this stuff. got a RC four wheel drive punisher shaft in the front and it has G made drive shaft in the back. And the front one broke. It has a 13.5 turn Novak brushless system in it. And it's got a axial SCX10 transmission in it. It did have a R2 right there. But as you can see it's got a lot of metal shavings in it. I stripped two gears. I'm not going to use that anymore. I don't like it. So I'm. I probably should rebuild it and sell it. Okay, um, there's the receiver for the MT4. ESC for the Novak brushless combo. Um, it runs with a. SMC lightning bolts, 4200 ma, 4100 ma, 24C high performance lipo, Dean's plug of course, it's the only way to go, which it goes right in here, of course I can't get it on camera, but anyways it goes in just like that. Um, it's got, I'm trying to think what else I have, oh, it's just a uh, 1.9 flat iron on a Walker ra Racing Evans wheel. Um, I think that's really it. For flex wide, it's not as good as it was when it had the SCX 10 axles because it's got some clearance issues with it right now. I'm going to have to set this down. Of course it 
frickin' slides down at the last second. But that's how much flex it has on my flex tester. Not too bad, but could be better. That's about it. Rate, comment, subscribe. Tell me what I should do to this thing. Um, if there's anything you saw with it that didn't look right, comment it and tell me. I think it pretty looks bulletproof. But, you know, it's probably something that someone sees that they don't like, so tell me. And chances are, if I also don't like it, I'll change it. So, check out the RCC forum. Matt Zilla, he built the chassis and the truggy and everything put it all together other than the wraith axles and transmission in it and I rearranged the um, electronics I put some of them I put them mostly back a little cause the front has just so much weight already that I think I'm just gonna put the battery up there and most of the electronics in the back uh... yeah that's basically it I believe Rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you subscribe to me, chances are if I am available, I will sub you back right as I get the email saying that I got subscribed to. So check out the forum and just, I guess that's it. Well, I'll just do size comparison with this and the Wraith. It's got a longer wheelbase than the Wraith. But not by really much, as you can tell. It's a size comparison to it. So, it pretty much shows you how big it is. That's it. See you guys. More videos coming up soon. Next one. The Wraith.